Hi, I'm Graham Bauer. I write about fitness for Colton Mac, and today I'm going to show you how you can build a rock hard six pack while you're stuck at home during the quarantine. You don't need any special equipment for this, just your Apple Watch and a mat or some soft surface you can work on. I'm going to show you two essential six pack exercises, but before we get onto those, let's take a quick look at what exactly a six pack is and what it does. Your six pack, also known as your abdominal muscles or abs, are a pair of long muscles that run down the front of your belly. Technically, they're called the rectus abdominis. Everybody has a six pack, but not everyone can see it. Why? Because it's often hidden by a layer of body fat, better known as your belly. Now there's a lot of confusion around losing belly fat. And so first, let's dispel two myths. Myth one, toning up. You can't turn fat into muscle. Fat and muscle are two completely different things. One never turns into the other. You lose fat by going on a calorie controlled diet and you build muscle with exercise. It's that simple. Myth two, spot reduction. You can't target fat loss in certain areas of your body. You can do all the belly exercises you want and it's not gonna target your gut. The only way to lose body fat is through a calorie controlled diet and your body decides which areas of fat go first. But if that's all a load of nonsense, what can you do to build a six pack? Two things, diet and exercise. When you're bored at home during the quarantine, it can be really tempting to keep going to the refrigerator and raiding it for snacks. Stop right there. If you're stuck at home, the odds are you're burning less calories, which means you need to eat less food, not more. So use a diet app like Lose It to plan a calorie controlled diet. The companion watch app provides a handy guide to your macronutrients, so you can make sure you're getting enough protein to build a better six pack. Your six pack might not be visible yet, but that doesn't mean you can't start working on it. In fact, now is the ideal time, because if you work on it now, when you've shed the fat, it'll already be looking awesome. To start your six pack training, there's just two essential exercises you need to know, the crunch and the plank. That's because your six pack performs two essential functions. One is to curl your torso forwards, and the second is to keep your torso steady. First things first, make sure you log it on your Apple Watch. You can pick the strength training option. So let's start with crunches. Crunches are all about curling your torso forwards. For a basic crunch, lie on your back, position your head so your knees are at 90 degrees and put your hands behind your head. Now clench your stomach muscles to pull your head forwards towards your knees just as far as it goes comfortably. Don't pull against your head with your hands, just hold them gently behind your head to support your neck without forcing it forwards. There are plenty of variations of the crunch you can do to keep your muscles guessing, like the crossover crunch and bicycles that also target the muscles on the side of your six pack, known as your obliques. For some variety, try the reverse crunch where you raise your legs rather than your head. Or for a slightly harder crunch, try raising your legs at the same time as your head. This is known as a tuck and crunch. Combine all these different crunches together for a high energy core blasting workout. Our second exercise is called the plank and it's harder than it sounds. The aim is just to hold your body horizontally just above the floor, resting on your elbows and toes like a plank. It might look like you're not doing any work, but your abs have to stay constantly engaged to keep your body rigid in this position. The challenge here is to see how long you can maintain the position. Just like with the crunch, there are plenty of ways you can modify the plank to keep things interesting. Introduce a leg lift to make your core work harder. Or try a side plank to make your obliques work as well. You can even add in hip dips to introduce a cardio element. If you do a daily workout with crunches and planks, and you do a calorie controlled diet with Lose It, you should be well on your way to building a rock hard six pack. If you have any questions or comments, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Graham Bauer. And remember to follow Cultimac for my regular fitness posts. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.